End of Life Care isn't an obvious winner for an award evening, but uh, over the last couple of years, it's been my privilege to uh, work with almost the whole of the Isle of Wight Health community to try and improve the care of those at the end of their lives. Uh, and let's not forget, there's quite a lot of it about. There's, we have about 1,700 deaths a year on the Isle of Wight, and uh, we only have about 1,000 births. Over the last couple of years, we've seen a quiet revolution in how end-of-life care is delivered, from projects such as the Hospice at Home team to just-in-case drug boxes. If someone's expected to die, then uh, their GPs or the hospice or the hospital will provide them with a box that's at their home, which has got drugs in it, which are the sort of drugs that you might need in extremists. So there'll be painkillers, anti-sickness drugs. Uh, we've established a hospital palliative care team, and we've appointed a second consultant at Elmont Batten Hospice. Everybody from GPs, care assistants, district nurses, pharmacists and the ambulance team have all changed their practice. And I'm sure that none of you need reminding that when it happens, a good death can be just as much of a success as other health interventions. What's been absolutely fantastic is that everybody that we've spoken to has looked at their practice and they've looked at ways of doing their work better. I haven't had one person to say, we're doing it fine already, we can't do it better.